As the new season kicks off, the Saudi-funded league now faces new challenges, but Norman and his team are prepared for them. They have recently released an app that could potentially shake up the golf industry. What is the goal of the Live Golf app, and how will it impact the PGA Tour's business? Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at PGA Caught by Surprise. Live Golf's new streaming app is here. Yeah, you heard it right. Last summer, the Greg Norman-led series emerged as a rival tournament to the American Tour. Initially, the golf world underestimated the competition. Despite the series offering multi-million dollar contracts, many believed that money was all that Norman and his team had to offer. To deter others, the PGA Tour swiftly imposed a ban on the Rebels and warned that they wouldn't be able to compete in any majors. This threat scared off some players who were considering joining the series. However, Mark Leishman and British Open champion Cam Smith, both from countries with a connection to the PIF-funded series, were not deterred. Other players followed their lead. Despite this, the American-based circuit remained steadfast in its stance, and it seemed as though the PGA Tour was gaining the upper hand. However, the golf world was shaken when Augusta National announced that eligible players from the series would be invited to the 2023 Masters. Augusta National Chairman Fred Ridley made it clear that the prestigious golf club would not become embroiled in any controversies. As a result, eligible players from any tour would receive invites to the Masters. And just when everyone thought that would be the end of it from the Majors, the Open Championship followed suit. However, Live Golf was just getting started. The controversial circuit secured a TV deal with the CW Network, which is one of the league's primary focuses, according to Norman. But that's not all that the golf world and the PGA Tour didn't see coming. Live Golf also launched its streaming app to cater to viewers worldwide. While the league aims to attract American viewers, Commissioner Greg Norman doesn't want to leave out fans from other parts of the world. As a result, the league announced the launch of its new apps, Live Golf Plus and LiveGolfPlus.com which will stream live golf events globally outside the United States. As a result, fans worldwide can now enjoy live and on-demand coverage of Live Golf League's second season, which kicked off with its first event in Mayacoba, Mexico. According to Live Golf's Chief Media Officer Will Stager, the launch of both Live Golf Plus and LiveGolfPlus.com apps ensure that fans worldwide will have immediate access to live and on-demand coverage of the Saudi-funded league. The content distribution scheme of other major leagues inspired the Live Golf Plus streaming app, which allows easy access for a wide range of viewers, from traditional golf consumers to sports and entertainment enthusiasts who are new to the game. Stager expressed excitement that golf fans worldwide can now watch their favorite Live Golfers in action, including those who may be discovering the sport for the first time. The app is available for free download from over 180 territories on the App Store and Google Play. That's not all. LiveGolfPlus.com will also stream matches and the app will be supported by Fire TV. Live will continue to produce the organization's innovative production coverage with its in-house team maintaining the same style and format of the 2022 Invitational season. The on-air team will include Troy Mullins, Don Bull, Swan Hong, Jerry Fultz, Arlo White, and David Faraday. Live's coverage boasts a shotgun start, enhanced drone coverage, statistics-driven graphics, a distinctive live leaderboard, and fast-paced coverage featuring twice as many golf shots per hour compared to traditional golf footage. Before the end of the season, there were several changes to the league's teams and roster. World number 34 Thomas Peters headlines a list of six fresh acquisitions, including Mito Pereira, New Zealander Danny Lee, Sebastian Munoz, South African PGA Tour rookie Dean Burmeister, and American Brendan Steele. It is worth noting that Brendan Steele's involvement confirms a significant U-turn on his part, considering he declared his lack of interest in joining the Rebel Series last December. Recent reports indicate that Love Golf has made several new signings, with Thomas Peters being the most notable addition to the controversial circuit. Peters was brought on as a last-minute replacement for Hudson Swafford and later revealed that he had his sights set on the Saudi League as early as last summer. His decision to join the likes of Dustin Johnson and Cam Smith on the Rebel Tour has thrown his Ryder Cup future into doubt as an upcoming UK arbitration verdict will determine whether he can still compete on the DP World Tour as a Rebel and be eligible for the Ryder Cup. There have been indications that Peters was becoming dissatisfied with the PGA Tour, as he aired his frustration on social media after failing to make it into the Genesis Invitational despite his high world ranking. 
Peters will be joining Bubba Watson, Taylor Gooch, and Harold Varner III at the Range of Goats GC. Live Golf's innovative production coverage, which includes enhanced drone coverage, a distinctive live leaderboard, and statistics-driven graphics will maintain its style and format from the 2022 Invitational season. The coverage will feature a shotgun start and fast-paced action with twice as many golf shots per hour as traditional golf coverage. Steele, a three-time PGA Tour winner, will be joining Mickelson's All-American High Flyers GC for the upcoming season. He'll be playing alongside James Payat, the 2021 U.S. Amateur Champion, and Cameron Tringale, who took the spots previously held by Matthew Wolf and Bern Weisberger. Meanwhile, South African PGA Tour rookie Dean Burmester, who only earned his tour card this season, has also joined the Rebel circuit. He has one top 10 finish on the PGA Tour, which was at the Sanderson Farms Championship in October 2022. Burmester will be playing for Louis Osthausen's All South African Stinger GC, which also features Charles Schwartzel and Brandon Grace. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.